Welcome back to Terraria Legendary Zenith Moon. Things have not been going great in our attempts to defeat bosses here. So we're going to take a slight break from that. Try to get some other things taken care of here. Make some more arenas. Do some fishing quests. Try to get that under control here. Finish and stuff. First fish is the mutant fling spin in underground tundra. So underground tundra is pretty specific. The snow here is I believe this is kind of surface because we're at the lowest level. So we might not be able to get that as things currently stand. But we can always just get some other fish. That's still a plus. Let's get. I'm gonna need a fishing rod. That would help. <laughs> Grabbed a bunch of things. Out of the fishing chest. Fishing. It's in the equipment. There we go. Golden fishing rod. I'll do nice. And we need to get other fish, which may or may not be fishable here. For all the potions and stuff. Buffs. And go fishing. Yep. Confirmed. We can, in fact, get the fish here. Perfect. Very quickly, too. Alright. Swordfish, delightful. We got a lot of fishing bucks here. So we are going to be just getting drops here like crazy. More crates and stuff. Oh yeah. Mostly we're after the specialer fish, which can be used to make the potions. We need some very specific ones for the ones we are kind of running out of. But, this all works. Also, technically part of an ocean here. And snow, and underground, and above ground. It's all quite the thing. Fish on this sea here. This will work, though. Right, golden crate. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to do more fishing to get more potions. As we keep on running through all the potions with quite a bit of speed here. It's definitely definitely a whole thing. When we constantly die, lose all the potion buffs. Since this counts as the snow biome, let's set up something here to help with you know to fight. Deer clops. Try to make like an arena or something. It's a slightly different boss where you can't like be far away from it. Well, let's see how that goes. That's a thought. And then there's also the Eater of Worlds to check out. Some information about it being more aggressive and dangerous if it's on the surface. So we want to try to not have that happen, possibly. <laughs> Would need to make some kind of arena for it though. Possibly just expand the underground corruption area where it regularly would spawn. Could work. And then 
We do still have the Queen Bee and Skeletron. But those have not been going particularly well. That's okay. We might end up trying some cheese tactics. Which could be interesting in itself. But we're kind of at the point where we can't get too many more upgrades, realistically. Because you get a lot of upgrades by defeating the bosses. That's kind of one of the main things in this game. So. Yeah. So I can catch a lot of fish. My goodness. And catching the fish will get us more crates, showing us more baits, which will always work nicely too. All kinds of good stuff. Armored cave fish. Yeah, that's a good one. That'll do. And we're gonna need to get space here. You know how the should be gone here. If we can get the sextant or one of those equivalent items, and combine some more stuff, which would be nice. Alright. Quest turn in. Get some sonar potions. Yeah. And put these fish here. I don't think we need a swordfish or any more frog legs. I we don't have any frost dagger fish. I think we would have. Hmm. Alright. Maybe we're just too far away, somehow. Probably a limit to that. Anyways. Still the frog leg and swordfish. And we still also have stuff in the. Grab all those out. How are we doing? Eight platinum, sixty-two gold. That's pretty good. So drop this all next to the merchant. So we get a bunch of things we don't need. I'll just stack into him. Store things, store things. There's an ice boomerang. It's fun. We did get some things we had already got before. Take those out. Don't think we need any more ice skates, sailfish things. Fish? Someone's a baby penguin. That's new. Yeah. A blizzard in a bottle, a breathing rod, and an ice boomerang. It's a material. You can combine it with other boomerangs to make a trimerang. Enchanted trimerang and heist boomerang. Three boomerangs is better than one. Brilliant. Let's throw this blizzard for now. And one of the boomerangs over here. Because why not? Doesn't matter which one, really. And sell the rest of the stuff. Ice skates, clem claws, boots, and tomb. Make a little bit of money. That's always nice. Decent value on those. And a boomerang. Another 21 gold. Nice. Okay. It's raining. Like that. It's more water leaf going. Never too many water leaf, probably. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to only plant water leaf in the right spots.
Sometimes, yeah, see like that? It's trying to go over that. Because it's a finished plant that would give seeds we worked with it there. And since we're over here, might as well. Get some moon glow. By some, I mean another hundred. It was pretty good. Let's go there. If we're careful, we can just hold it down, which is nice. Kind of need to avoid the blink root section. That's just gonna end up breaking the blink root. Another new group, huh? One more water leaf seed. Perfect. Put all that away. Mimblo. Water leaf. Got tons and tons of seeds. Let's do it nicely. Lowest is the Shiver Thorn and Death Weed still. Which does make sense. Fishing here. Still missing a little bit more. There's a fishing crate. Potions. Fishing. Yeah, the weather radio and the fisherman's pocket guy. If we get like any of the different ones, we can make improvements. What were these? Crafting. This makes endurance potions. Four minute duration. That and blink root. Yeah, we definitely need more endurance potions. This makes more endurance potions. We need the bottles and the blink roots. We could just make just a ton of them. Because we're always going to want to take 10% less damage. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Angle. 52 endurance potions. That'll help. That gets it more up towards the other potions here. Now the one we really need is inferno potions. These from the inferno potions? Yes they are. Well, we can make some more at least. We will run out of stuff. We need fire blossom. Yeah, that che that checks out. Fire blossom for inferno potions makes sense to me. Just ten more. So we're going to need to go lava fishing more, which that's definitely doable. I can't play about that too much. That's at least 10 more attempts at fishing though, so that's good. That'll work. That'll work. I don't have very many fancy fish left. Frost minnows? Except for like warmth potions? I think I'd rather that could potentially be helpful in deer collapse. That's the only thing these do. Let's get the shiver thorn out and say, why not? <laughs> Warmth potion. Reduce damage from cold sources. Now we have six. <laughs> we have potions. Four days. We already had some. There's some warmth potions. That's a situational kind of guy. Very good. And we might be able to just go do another fishing quest right now. I work with that. A Scorpio fish from the desert. Which we also do not have yet. Alright, let's go do that. Desert. Right here. Doesn't look like the desert has 
a chest set up yet. What is that? Torch in the way. Place a torch. Keep things brighter here. And uh, buffs. It's also technically using the fish buff. No. Oh. Fish is that. It's also using one of the cooked fish. But we can make huge numbers of cooked fish, so. It's not actually a problem at all. There's an oasis crate. Probably gonna be another situation where this counts as desert and also underground and also above ground and also the ocean. It's a thing. A few more potions available, that's pretty good. We will see. We will see. Well, it's also seeing here that some of the bosses are immune to a lot of explosions and stuff in the higher difficulties here. So just lying down a bunch of grenades or dynamite or anything is less effective. But there's still some options for cheese and things. So we'll possibly try that out. The main problem we're really having is getting towards the end of the fight, where the bosses become even more aggressive, as if they weren't already destroying us the entire length of the fight already. Definitely, definitely a whole problem. That's okay. We'll keep trying. What we can do here. If we need to cheese things, we will. The real question is, how far does that get us further in the game here? Will we be able to cheese everything? Hard to say. We've definitely given Silatron and Queen Bee some good attempts. Maybe some other time we can go for some kind of even more challenging situation. Like, trying to do this deathless. The hardcore mode. That would be hard. It's already hard enough. When we can just constantly die. There is always another layer of difficulty you can add. After you do that, you can make it so you can't wear armor or something. Again, nowhere near that situation. Looks like it stopped raining. It's fine. We do two crate potions worth here. I don't think it's too necessary. We need to specifically fish in specific locations. I want to get the stuff we're looking for. I guess we can kind of fall down from here and do some lava fishing. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Since we're here anyways. And this is our way to get down that way. That'd be good. Okay these. Almost all these. Get some of these. Grab one of these. We're gonna get stuff from lava fishing. So let's put some stuff away here. We don't need a crate potion for doing the lava fishing. Let's 
since we don't need to get the hook right now. I'm immune to lava, though, so that's good. Hmm. Back to fish. Hmm. Still get lots of fun stuff from the crates, though, so that's okay. Definitely is a bit slower, lava fishing. Since we don't have the lava fishing rod yet. We only need a few of the fish here to make the inferno potions, so. That's still decent. Still decent. That's pretty. We're definitely launching the hook in a hilarious way. Towards the door over there. That just bounces back in the lava. Luckily the demon dunking the voodoo doll in doesn't count as it being in the lava. That'd be not a good time. Constant walls of flesh. Not what we need right now. And even if we did need it right now, we would really want to probably not kill the wall of flesh. There's things we need to do in places that I'd really prefer to not be hard mode just yet. That would be unhelpful, to say the least. We still need to get into the dungeon and do some regular mode dungeon stuff. Among other things. That's really kind of the place we are not allowed in yet. That we should be able to be in. Just need to defeat Skeletron. Easier said than done. Okay. Two more minutes of fishing in the lava. Be fine. We're getting more of these fish here. We need more of the obsidian fish. Obsidian fish. The demon conch. Make more potions. Yeah, Inferno Potion was definitely one we were a little bit lower on. I guess we were also, like, completely out of minion summoning potions for an extra minion. Let's see what fish that was. Must have been fairly uncommon for us to get since we didn't have very many of them. And now they're gone. That's okay. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 2 p.m. That's good. Something died. It was that snail up there. Luckily, we don't need to try to catch any lava critters anymore. Definitely better to use these better bait and easier and more convenient and just great okay. all right put an end to that all this stuff <laughs> more of these, don't need more of those, don't need more of those. I think we need more demon conches. Take the obsid of fish, make the rest of the potions here. And we need to obviously go turn in the fishing quest. Seven more inferno potions. Could be worse. That's a fish. That's some bait. Okay. Yeah, the flare fin koi are definitely the larger amount here. Put the other one in here. It's fine. Yeah, we need to need to deal with that too here. Shark teeth trophy, apprentice bait. Yeah. 
giving us multiple of these. See the lockbox, we don't have any shadow keys. Okay. Everything else out of here. Ah, all the pieces. <laughs> Even more crates in here too, right? Next fish in the list, Scorpio fish. Eventually, we'll have most of the fish, if we keep on trying to get all the fish. And that'll just make the fishing quests easier, which is good. If we want to get more potions and baits and stuff, that's still really only only way we're going to be getting any sonar potions, unfortunately. All things here. It's going very slowly through the honey. Okay, let's grab some things. Sell some of these. We already have one of those. Got the flame walker, lock proof. Flipping the oasis crates here. Got a ancient chisel. Increases mining speed by 25%. That's pretty good. Sandstorm in a bottle. Also a good time. And we did not already have one of these. Hmm. It's also a material. What's this combined with? Arctic Gizmo Pack, Treasure Magnet, and Step Stool make the Hand of Creation. Black and wall placement, block placement, okay, paints and coats placed items. Got the whole thing there. One of these in here for now. And a sandstorm. I want to try to make the better balloon for the fishing set, but not really necessary. I'm not going to worry about that. Some of those. And open up all these. Dropping tons and tons of stuff into the honey here. As long as the stuff goes into places, I'm pretty much fine with it. Yeah, still don't have, don't have the thing we're looking for. It's not the most common drop for that. That's all right. Let's see. What do we do over here? So the idea for potentially making a more of an arena here is blasting out some of the top. But I don't know where it would technically count as being on the surface, which would be the problem, which we'd not want to deal with. Fishing stuff away for now. We're in the in this set here. We have a house above that room. Let's start from there. Bring some sticky bombs, maybe sticky dynamite. Make making this a little bit more easy. Let's sticky bombs. Let's make some sticky dynamite. It's just more explosive. More good times. Then we're gonna need to go find where we've set the demolitionist at. Arms dealer, tinkerer. Over here. Yep. Let's get some dynamite. Dynamite. I'll make this sticky dynamite. Because that's just easier. Okay. So we'll set our spawn over this way. One negative of this would be we would not have the 
like respawn and teleport over to here as easily. Because with the other arena we have the pylon just right next to it. So I'm that. This is more for the construction phase. We're gonna have that here. Where's all those guys? Burning. 100th devour. Neat. Let's start by putting on some torches here. Looks like time for stars. They can't get to me. Ah, you can get to me. <laughs> what was I just saying about them not being able to get to me? <laughs> I'm a fool. <laughs> this side over here is slightly more lit. There's guys in the walls. I'm sure I feel about that. <laughs> the kind of partially in a jungle here. Don't particularly want that. Maybe we block off this side. So we're at least not going to be dealing with the jungle guys again. We've already got more than enough of that. Already. We're almost done. Okay. So we've got roughly this section here to work with. If we go around here, start blasting. Really? <laughs> hit the, like, <laughs> top <laughs> would be good. Kind of get, like, stuck on the roof. Go upwards, maybe, a little bit. are happening. I'm sure I feel about that. Ideal, obviously. Also, getting rid of some of the background, which is probably fine. And we're back up here. We just need a little more space to work with down here. That's the main thing. We're already so hurt. Now. That's great. Or 
from here. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> it's also not the safest place to try and make an arena. That's for sure. And these are just the small ones. They're not even the big worm. Good amount of health here. Something to this. What's going on? Did we run into a guy on the way down or something? It needs fall damage. That should be a problem. Yeah. There must be a guy coming down below. At us. An arena here is gonna be a challenge, let's say. <laughs> Being a bit generous. That's okay. Yeah, I think we're just hitting one of the guys on the way down there. Randomly. It's not ideal. Sometimes they can have good knockback. Not all the time, though. Let's get these individual bits here. There's so many. Boy, now we have Chris Bunny. Yay. One imp, please. Hello. Okay. Currently at a reasonable height here. Let's keep blowing another layer up above here, though. Blowing stuff up works pretty well. Oh, look, it's all the bees. Amazing. That was a good spot. Got a good spot right here. Looks like the ears. Looks like the ears souls are killing the bees. That's a win. Kind of fighting. Why well, is a lot of them down there? It's a problem. It's a problem. Oh yeah. Warmed. <laughs> okay. Progress? Questionable. <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> Some more hive wall. What do we, what do we hit? Who's here? What's going on? Mr. 
Isn't that like a, on that spike or something that was there? Not sure. Yeah, but starting off with minus 200 health is not helping, clearly. Now we're fine. One potential negative of having walls like this is that we end up with or we'll place the torch on the background there. This is a bit unfortunate. I just destroying a lot of the background here too. here with the big hammer we got which actually be fine because they are in fact slightly in the way here it'd be nice to not have to worry about that And hammocks. I think we need the. It's called the bone hammer or something. That's from wall flush, maybe. Maybe we can't get rid of these. It is inconvenient, but not unex unexpected. Four hundredth eater of souls. There we go. This weapon is definitely interesting. All the weird stuff it does. I'm gonna make a series of platforms. It kind of does limit where we want to have the actual main platforms. These are gonna be in the way here. Possibly just above it. Making everything flat would obviously be helpful for trying to run around. Also, no holes in the floor would also probably be a good idea. area where we got the problematic lines here. Do something about that. Could have that just be the de facto lowest platform. Jungle bats again. with us destroying some of the background. It's kind of as more jungly, potentially. to get more explosives up in the top. Or at least a few layers to work with, preferably. Hmm. 
Pew pew. Yes, it is. In need of explosives. Tactics. We got him. Out of there. Oh, there's a mirror right here. Let's get this mimic and deal with the those are souls as they come past. Stuff from the mix. Again. Is there something done? The mimics aren't the problem, clearly. That's good. Let's try again. Let's try again. That's not gonna get anywhere. Let's see if that is the highest one of these. Demon altar, demon altar, demon altar, demon altar. I'm kinda stuck over here. It's like this is the highest demon altar. So if we base our lowest level on that, we can make that work. We need to get these out of the way, obviously. Can't fall down if they're just gonna blast us immediately. Lowest level here. Actual solid blocks. Just so we can't fall down into the mess of a floor here. Look at heart. That's nice. Do have a little bit of honey here. Get some regen going. Always a good time. And we also have areas where they can spawn and not be bothering us. Which is a pretty big win too, honestly. Okay. So from here... I want this to be... The ground. Worm. The random wild knockbacks are always a good time. I guess. I can't fall into this. That's not exactly helpful in trying to have a platform here. One layer above it is. Just need everything to be flat. We could go further down if we get rid of these melters. Be inconvenience. 
see, now we're at the level of this. Now we can't do anything with that. Uh. Oh, small enemies. Ah. I don't know about either of these options. They're both not good. We can't go, like, down here, because that wouldn't be flat either. This level. Here, base level, I guess. If we do it in platforms, it'd probably work better. Because we'll be able to still shoot down below, which could have benefits. Let's get the platforms here. Alright, an ancient shadow helm. That's interesting. Platform at this level. I'll work. Either walk across this, no problems. Or only a few problems. A variety of numbers of problems, depending on how things are going. Slime down there. It's fine. It's a little annoying you can't put platform where you're standing. A blood moon is rising. That's what you want to hear. Just what, just what we need right, ha right here, right now. Alright. Very good. That's going to make building this much better. Just kidding. Opposite of that. Can make building this a nightmare. <laughs> On plus side, more free burgers. So, not all negatives, I suppose. All sorts of stuff here. Getting jungle stuff, getting surface stuff. These guys. <laughs> Just gonna keep blasting. Start ground there pretty well. Wizards. Yeah. This is definitely a level here. That'll work. We will need to get rid of all of this here, too. Let's probably do that. Just makes sense. Him away is hilarious. Okay. This car inventory is also full here. We didn't pick up that stick thing there. Put some stuff in here. Quickly. <laughs> see what the fishing quest is. Finish with that. A swiftness potion. 
Oh, this is a good time. Let's get rid of this mud here. Then we can return to base. It'd be much easier to finish trying to construct this when it's not a blood moon. Things attacking us. We're all up decently, though, all things considered. Using our dodges there. Great stuff. I should dodge that slime. Blast that devourer. Very good. They just keep on coming. My goodness. Also, getting more of the rotten chunks. Maybe they'll just summon more of the worms later. That'd be nice. Straight through the worm that time. Jungle bat. Ah! <laughs> Having them spawned out on the sides where they can't attack me is pretty great. Very helpful. Very cool. Clear some mud. Everything is definitely easier when it's not a blood moon. Really does make things more difficult. It's kind of the entire point. Please stop using the pickaxe my own 22. Like I stopped mining things to attack stuff. Since we didn't move or wait the correct amount of time, it still uses the pickaxe. Which is not my intention. 550th Eater. Souls. <laughs> Killed by a bat. Of course we did. Well, we need to go pick up that. And then a snail just falls in. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> To be hit. Okay. There are one imp here to help. Nope. Surrounded. <laughs> Getting them spawned in below is also helpful. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. At least we got our gold back that time, though. That's at least something. It's the darkness damage we're taking. Oh my gosh, they're all here. The gang is all here. Oh, two worms. <sighs> Always a time. Always a time over here. Darkness damage we're taking. Let me explain some stuff. Mm 
Where'd you even come from? He's <laughs> hiding in the corner or something. There's a skeleton. Just walk him. He's fine. <laughs> If the light pit would catch up more, I think that would actually help. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this done here. chance on the ancient shadow helm. That's interesting. We had ancient something from some other set. Let's throw that in here for now. Ancient shadow greaves too. That's rare drops from those specific enemies. That's fun. So bat bat tentacle spikes. Well, that's our fishing quest. Eater of Plankton caught in corruption. Okay, we don't have a corruption pool ready. So we're going to potentially set that up. Drop it later. Get everything else out of here. Silver. Pepper. Storage. No more hive walls we don't want. Alright. We're gonna keep working on making these new locations. Yeah, we can make made that one over here. We need to make one over here. I think we can do that. Maybe like right in this crevice. Be a good spot to make a fishing spot. Could be an idea. For next time. Goodbye. <laughs>